Said we'd get serious, so let's do it. Trigger warnings. This video doesn't have any. Trigger warnings are the subject of a lot of discussion and have been for the last at least 10 years. They've risen to prominence in performance and poetry and writing, and they've made a lot of inroads into the classroom, which seems really interesting. There are multiple schools of thought on trigger warnings and whether or not we should use them and how we should use them. And you might think that a lot of that pushback comes from the sort of angry jerk face on the internet. You know, the, you gotta man up. Real life doesn't have trigger warnings. Human beings didn't grow up with trigger warnings because I didn't have trigger warnings when I was a kid and I turned out fine. There are lots of other things we didn't have when we were kids. Uh, that have made the world vastly better. So I don't really see where that argument's coming from. But there's also been a lot of discussion in academic circles about whether trigger warnings should be on course syllabuses, especially for courses that engage with material that can bring up trauma. I mean, that's really the point of trigger warnings. Sorry, in case you didn't know, is trigger warnings are a preface that you give to a work like whether it's a poem or a song or an article that call out things in it that could be harmful or that could call up trauma and cause someone who's experienced that pain. That's it. You have seen these for literally decades on television. You know, right before the movie comes up, it's like, warning, movie contains strong language and scenes of violence. Trigger warnings help people take care of themselves in situations where particular works have called up pain. There's also a school of thought that says, well, these works can't actually cause you pain. You decide how you react to them. And this, of course, is true if you listen to nothing but dial tone noises your whole life. But if you are interacting with the work of people who've experienced pain and you don't feel something, you lack empathy. It is a thing you can learn. Not necessarily from me, but in general. Academic conversations about trigger warning often revolve around the notion that you have, in order to get an, a university education, you have to engage with that kind of content, especially if you're going to study things like literature or sociology. Like, you're going to wind up in there dealing with content, er, content that involves assault or, uh, you know, racial harassment or things like that. Imagine you had a friend who had experienced a terrible tragedy or trauma. It just... I'm not going to attempt to fill in the blanks here because I did say this would be a video without any trigger warnings, but I'm sure you can fill in the blanks on your own because you know someone who has at least one someone. You as their friend are mindful when talking about things related to that around them. That is, that is how friends do. You don't joke about it. Unless they, you, they have talked to you and said, yeah, no, it's cool. You know, I could bother me, but it's cool. And they sort of grant you that. Now, imagine the same scenario, only you don't know about the trauma. So what are you mindful of? That's the other common argument in universities now is, well, anything could trigger anybody for anything, so do we need to put trigger warnings for peanut butter on our course syllabuses? And the answer is, of course, no. Because that's ridiculous. We can easily think, uh, just using a tiny bit of imagination, we can easily put together some things that people experience pretty regularly that can be traumatic, like, say, sexual assault or, har or sexual harassment, racial harassment, like I mentioned before. These are all obvious cases 
obvious cases. Ultimately, where I come down on trigger warnings is that trigger warnings are a means of exercising compassion. They say, I am mindful of my audience. They matter to me, and their pain matters to me. And I don't want to f push them to dig some of that up. If you are into exercising compassion, then they seem like a pretty cool deal. If you are not, there is a button just, just sort of below here, and I would like you to push it. It's the red one. Uh, that might subscribe you, in which case maybe you'll learn something about compassion. Probably not from me, but maybe from the comments. Or it's an unsubscribe button, because you're not into compassion and, I don't know, go fuck yourself. Anyway, trigger warnings. I have put some links to some articles in the show notes if you want to read more about them. Uh, sort of common explainers, uh, common debates, things like that. They're all down there. And I will see you tomorrow.